Five and set. We're rolling. Action. So here we are. Nothing fancy, but it's home. You know. What? Uh, it's Tillamook Bay, right? Uh, yeah, it's weird, right? <laughs> you're like totally freaked out. Uh, you're like heading for the door. It, it's okay. I, I don't mind. Just go. It's just, just, just really, it's fine. Stop doing that. What? The whole thing you just did. I want to be here. If I didn't, I wouldn't be. Trust me. My family is way more fucked up than yours, okay? Okay. So, Tidamabe. Yeah. He's my brother. Is he adopted or...? Kind of. My mother adopted him on Sally Struthers. You know, like one of those for cups of a coffee kind of day thing. And she was like, well, how could you sit there and just not care about the children? And we couldn't. We couldn't just not sit there and not care about the children. So we started sending him letters and, and pictures and stuff. And then for actually a while, we kind of forgot about him because I got really into my ice skating. Then one day, well, we got a call from him. And it was Tetembe. He was right around the corner. And he was like, I'm at Rutgers. And, you know, I'm living in the dawns, but I'm used to living with my tribe. So can I live with a family? And, yeah, he's been living with us ever since. Wow. I know. <laughs> He's amazing. You should hear his stories. I mean, like, oh my gosh, you know. He's been through so much just because he wanted to learn. And, like, he's studying criminal law at Rutgers. And when I think of what he's accomplished, I just feel really lazy. You know, because he was like one of those kids with flies on his face. Wow. I mean, it's a crazy story. I know, right? It's true, though. Like, I'm not that good. This is Tickle. What is Tickle? Tickle's my favorite thing in the whole world. It's all that's left of Nanny, my blanket. Tickle's all that remained? Mm-hmm. Was there any, like a hurricane or something? <laughs> no, shut up. I've had him since I was a baby. It's what they brought me home in from the hospital. It's like the Wailing Wall. What? Uh, the Wailing Wall is like this, uh, it's like the most holy place for Jews to go and pray in Israel. It's all that's left of this enormous evil that was destroyed by the Romans. So you're like really Jewish. What? You are, aren't you? No, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm Jewish, but it, I'm not really Jewish. I don't do anything Jewish. I don't go to the temple or anything, but I don't know any Jews that go to temple. The Jews I know, they go on one day. It's Yom Kippur, the day of repentance. Okay. Did you know that most temples are built with movable walls? So that on one day of the year, when everyone comes to repent, they can actually make the room big enough to hold everyone. Hmm. I don't believe in a god. Just tickle. <laughs> I, I believe in tickle. We're not going to make out. What? Oh, I, I mean, I'm sorry. I, I, should I just ruin that moment? No, no. It's just, we're, we're, we're not going to make out, okay? No, no. I had planned on trying. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I'm so lame. <gasps> oh, that was like, I, oh, God, please. Oh, I'm so sorry. Forget I, forget I said that. Um, oh, oh. Uh, you know what I do when I feel completely unoriginal? What? I shout, or, or I, I do make a noise or do something completely that's unoriginal that makes me feel unique again. <laughs> and then just for a second, I do. So no one's ever done that? Mm, no, not in this spot, no. 
What you just witnessed is a completely original moment in history. It's refreshing. You should try it. <laughs> no, thanks. No, come on. I think that was good enough for both of us. <laughs> what are you? Shy? Come on, this is your one opportunity to do something that no one else has done before and no one else can do again in their entire human existence. And if nothing else, you'll be remembered as this one guy that did this, this one thing. How was that? Oh, I've done that one before. Listen, I've got to go bury this dead hamster before the dogs eat him. You want to come? Hmm? Cut.